Hi, my name is Craig. I've been gardening here for 25 years. When I began planting uh, uh, native landscaping 25 years ago, I selected a spot in the backyard here and uh, I think it was probably New England Aster that I first put in along with a few other wildflowers. And then as each year went by, I'd be mowing grass and, and thinking, oh, I'd just as soon have some flowers here, some sort of habitat instead of mowing grass in this area. So as the years went by, I continued to eliminate lawn and add natural features. I utilize rain barrels. I don't have to turn the faucet on so often. I do not use chemicals around here. I've made brush piles from the trees that I've had to cut down and those provide good cover for the birds. Um, I have a couple of ponds and that certainly increases the diversity of creatures that are found around here. When doing native landscaping, there are areas where I do not mow and therefore the birds plant trees and black raspberries. And that's what happened here. I did not buy, purchase these black raspberries. They were planted by the birds. This patch has been, well, it, it began six or seven years ago. Our best year was three or four years ago where we harvested 25 gallons of berries. This is a pawpaw tree right here. It's spreading very nicely. I know that the pawpaw is the food plant for the zebra swallowtail. That is the zebra swallowtail deposits its eggs on pawpaw and the caterpillars are able to eat the leaves and become butterflies. I think some of the great plants that folks might begin with or asters, milkweeds, uh, coneflowers, um, the ironweeds are great, butterflies love those, uh, the joe piat pieweed does well and are also enjoyed by insects. I would advise beginners to start small. I would not be able to keep up with this yard if I did not have this scooter. My walking is limited these days. I have MS. In the future, I would like to increase the amount of spring wildflowers that grow in the yard. In the front where I can uh, increase the amount of wild geranium or Virginia bluebill. Jacob's Ladder, that's a nice little wildflower that would do well in the front where it's shady. Keeping up with the work is, is a challenge, no doubt. It's all worthwhile, I would say.